Hi everyone, for today's video I'm sitting here in front of my stalwart HP Elite book so that we can walk through uh, the method to change our IP configuration settings on our NIC in Windows. And while there are many ways to get to our network adapters in Windows, even more than there ever were before, it seems with Windows 10 duplicating a lot of that functionality, one of the easiest ways for me to remember is simply to go down here to our network icon, right click on that, and click Open Network and Sharing Center. From the left hand side here, we're going to click Change Adapter Settings, and this will bring up a list of all of our network adapters on our machine. Uh, since I am using my physical Ethernet port to connect to the Packet Master on its physical Ethernet port, I'm going to go ahead and select Local Area Connection here and right click on that and hit Properties. In this new dialog box, in this list right here, we're going to select Internet Protocol Version 4 and once again select Properties. And now that we've done all that click foo, we finally get the option to change our network adapter configuration from the DHCP that it is currently set to. We can click this radio button and now manually enter an IP address. I'm going to put in one that would exist on the same subnet as the default IP of a packet master. So I'm going to put this on a dot o dot something slash 24 subnet. Don't have to worry about a default gateway here because I don't have internet access at the moment anyway. So I'm going to close all of this now. And after doing all of that, we can open up a web browser and see that we do have a connection to the Packet Master on its default IP of 192.168.0.200. Okay. Now, I don't know about you, but I personally find all of that clicking to be rather tedious. And one of the things that I like using is the oft-maligned netsh command. So I'm going to open a PowerShell administrator prompt here because we do need administrator privileges to run this command. And in there, I'm going to type in netsh interface IP set address, and then the name of my adapter that I want to change, which we saw earlier was local area connection. If you're doing this all from the command prompt, you can use ipconfig to grab the name of the adapter you need to change. Follow that up with static, since we're not using a DHCP address, this is going to be static, and 192.168.0.100 with a 255.255.255.0 to put us on the same subnet as the packet master. And finally here we will have to enter a gateway, so 192.168.0.1 will do the trick and hit enter. And that will accomplish the same thing as all of the clicking that we previously did. Now, from here, if we want to go back to a DHCP because we've finished with what we're doing and we just want to set our adapter back to uh, getting its configuration automatically, we're going to run the netsh command again. Same syntax, netsh interface IP set address local area connection. And I'm putting that in quotes because that name does include spaces. If the name includes spaces, we're going to need quotes around that. And then where we had static before, we're simply going to type DHCP, and that's it. Hit enter, and now our physical network adapter is set back to uh, DHCP automatic configuration. So those are the most handy methods I find to change my network adapter settings in Windows, and hopefully that helped you guys out as well. All right, until next time.